Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and I got a very, very, very large box from CloudRay today. I'm assuming a lot of it is gonna be testing material, so I wanted to unbox it and give you guys some first impressions, as well as some links on where you can pick it up if it's something you're interested in. Without further ado, let's get the boxes onto the table. Double pandas! <laughs> oh yeah! Damn. My bad. Uh, we got three boxes here. I guess we'll start small and just kind of work our way up. Um, so thanks, shout out to CloudRay. They did not uh, tell me these were coming, nor did they like pay me to review them or anything. They just kind of sent them. So uh, we're just gonna kind of go through it together. I've not peeked at these yet, so I don't know what's in here. All right, first big bag out of the way. And it looks like we've got a few different things in here. For starters, little card holders. Those are always nice. Uh, this seems to be like an anodized aluminum. It comes with plastic protective coating on it, which is always a bonus when you are shipping from China. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's not even color. Uh, it's literally like, almost. it's almost like a, a gray silver kind of color to it. I don't know if that's showing up on camera or not. Let me actually get all of the plastic off of this. Uh, it's got a really high polish mirror finish. So it's definitely good that they're shipping this with plastic on it. Wow, it's like inside and all, all over. It's actually kind of a pain in the butt to get off. But I'd like to show what it looks like when it's clean. I don't know how to get the inner lining off. It's great that it's on there to protect it, but it was like, it was like the metal was stamped out with the film on it. The film inevitably gets kind of like stamp pressed into the edges of the metal. I'm already spitting on it. I literally don't know. I'm going to get that inside one out. Normally I'd say like, I'm not going to mess with it, but if you're going to buy these, right? You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to do this every time that you need to engrave one of these. It's like I have my razor in my pocket, but that kind of defeats the purpose. Okay. I think I actually got most of that off, if not all of it, without scratching it. There's some fingerprints on it. Well, it's not pristine, guys, but um, here's a look at the final case. They, they are nice. Um, you're just going to have to get a razor blade if you wanna get that protective coating off. Again, I'm glad it's there. It is a little tedious to remove, but um, that finish is super clean. So that's a positive. Here's our first item. So the second thing, I know Kyle's seen these. These are great guys. These are really cool. I think they're a little on the pricey side, but they are Cloud Ray's like custom blank aluminum business cards. Nice smooth back there. And then we have a little bit of like a texture on the front and uh, another blank spot probably meant to be read uh, vertically like this. These are all really neat and they have a bunch of different designs like this spiral one here. And there are even some that have been skeletonized. So this one's got kind of that cool grid pattern with the side bands removed. They're thick too. They're not, they're not like crazy thick. They feel like 0.4s. Here's another one with a larger kind of honeycomb cutout pattern to it. So again, really nice. Uh, these are one of the nicest products I think Cloudray makes. Uh, I, I really do like these. And then last but not least, uh, this is just a blank smooth one right there. And they, they are really nicely done. These are super high quality. So I, I do like these a lot. Next up guys, we have some aluminum, just like pet tags. These are super standard. I'm sure you've seen them before. If you haven't, they're nice. There's a ton of places you can get these online. Just to show you guys kind of the fit and finish on that. Even the edges are anodized, which is nice. I'd have no problem buying those in bulk um, or even just a few of them if I wanted to check those out. We also have, looks like two steel. They feel like steel, they're heavy like steel. And they've been steel in the past. This isn't the first time I've gotten these from CloudRay and I've definitely used them for prototyping before. Mirror finished. These do not have that protective coating and already they're kind of scuffing and they may even have a couple scratches on them. But here is a closer look at that. 
So as you can see, just a nice mirror finish. You can actually see the reflection of my fingers there in them. Uh, so they're, they're fairly clean. There are a few little kind of very minor scuffs on it, but it's nothing that you couldn't polish out if you're adept at that. And even then, I'd, I'd still probably sell this as is, and uh, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. So it's in good enough condition. And they do come individually wrapped which is nice as well. And it looks like we have a few coins in here. Again, individually wrapped in plastic and they have the coin cases on them. Uh, these are brass with a knurled edge. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. So we got a couple of those. We got a few zincs as well. Uh, zincs are great for prototyping and experimenting with. It's nice and inexpensive. So if you're looking for something, you want to practice coins, but you don't want to blow a bunch of money on uh, heavier, fancier metals like brass, the zinc stuff can be really great for that. And uh, I think the idea here, and Kyle will correct me if I'm wrong, is that you can buy this box. So this is the actual package and it comes with everything inside of it. We also have some slate. Slate, slate, guys, which is nice. There's nothing better or worse about this slate than anything you're gonna get domestically or locally. It's pretty simple rock. These particular ones have kind of more of that matte finish, which I actually prefer. I don't, I don't like the uh, like glazed, kind of glossy ones as much. I, I like the matte slate better. It's unfinished, I guess you would call it. You can tell because the bottom is the same way. And it has the little felt feet on the bottom too. So if you like those, they have them in square and circular varieties, which is pretty nice. And we got one last box here for the little cloud ray case and it's a flask. Do a quick quality check here, guys. The finish looks great all the way around it. The inside looks nice and clean, stainless steel. Got a nice flat, probably zinc alloy cap on there. So if you wanted to do some customization on the cap, you could certainly do that as well. But overall, uh, just a nice finish. I don't see any weird kind of like overlapping lines or uh, defects in the, it feels like kind of a painted or powder coated finish on this, uh, which is pretty great. The last time I was sent one of these in a sample pack from China, it was like yellow and it was like thick industrial paint. And this is much nicer than uh, what I got before. So uh, this is definitely something I think I would recommend more than I did the last time I took a look at these. And that's it guys. So that's the first package all in all. Um, and I'm not sh sure, what, is, what does this go for Kyle? Can you look it up real quick? For this? Ugh. Um, I think, so I think these two are the brass then, this would be the copper. I guess these are steel, which is more impressive. That's really great. Uh, pairs nicely with your little business card holder. You get the samples of the dog tags, the steel dog tags, and the slate, and the canteen for 89, you said? 89.99. Uh, not terrible it's kind of nice for like a spread it's a little steep but if you plan on ordering large amounts of something from cloud ray uh, it could be a good value just so that you can kind of taste all of these things without ordering large quantities not that you have to order large quantities from cloud ray i mean that is one of the nice things about them is you can get this stuff kind of onesie choosies. But if you were going to order large amounts of them from Cloud Ray, it would be nice to kind of get the sampler experience. I am a fan of the coins. The coins look really clean. Um, again, cleaner than the ones that I've seen in the past. I love the cards. This uh, apparently steel. I always thought these were aluminum. Apparently they're steel. Excellent, great value. This I could do without the little card holder thing. There's better quality ones out there. I feel like I could just do that, um, so I could leave that. These are fine, probably a better source for them on the internet, but they're fine. One thing I will give them credit for is that the edges are anodized, including on the colored ones, so that is nice. These had a couple scratches or you know scuffs on them, but overall, very nice, good weight. Um, this, I don't, China really loves these. I don't really get the appeal, so I'm gonna put that in the no thanks pile, and slate, slate is slate. So. Uh, all of this stuff over here, guys, really good value. This stuff over here, meh, I could do without. Leave it out of the next pack. 
uh, that you guys come up with over at CloudRay. All right, guys, and that's the end of the first episode. Next week, we'll take a look at CloudRay's fiber laser starter kit. And then we've got another episode coming up with their CO2 laser materials box as well. So stick around for those. If you got value out of this episode, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload a video. If you really got value out of this one, guys, don't forget to sign up for the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. We've got a bunch of great goodies and bonuses over there to thank you for your support. And it's just a great community. So if you havenven't go check it out over at masters.lasereverything.net but i think that's all i've got for this one guys thank you so much one more time for watching really appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you in the next one